Hi everyone, today we're gonna install the Android 4.4 KitKat Experience ROM which is based on Cyanogen Mod 7.2 so basically it kind of has the same features but with the KitKat feel and uh, obviously the same Cyanogen Mod bugs now to install this you need to download the kernel zip file which you can find in the link in the video description and you need to download obviously the ROM zip file download these files into your SD card and then power off your phone Then, as usual, hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time to boot into recovery mode. So if you're on stock recovery, boot into Coco mode recovery. Flush the CWM zip file. Now, from here, you need to head into install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Now locate the kernel zip file which would be kernel GNU10. Choose yes to confirm. So basically this kernel will also replace your recovery. So you do not need to reboot the whole phone. You just need to go back, head into advanced and select reboot recovery. You will now be in the different recovery. It's still Kokomot recovery but I can't really go into detail this one is integrated into the kernel as you can see now with the help of this recovery we are gonna install the cyanogen motor on. so basically what you do here now is you need to wipe data choose yes then wipe cache choose yes once again here into mounts and storage make sure that system is mounted as you can see and finally here into install the from SD card choose the from SD card and now locate the new experience KitKat ROM choose yes to confirm and there you have it now just wait a few seconds and your reset installation is complete and as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now we may head back and finally you can choose the reboot system now. So this is the boot animation for those of you who want to know. And here we are, this is the home screen of this ROM. Now for those of you who may be wondering why I don't see the KitKat icons here, basically you need to head into voucher settings, head into appearance settings and in icon pack your icons might have been set to holo launcher so choose none which will be using the uh, kitkat icons as you can see so this is the app drawer this is holo launcher by the way we are currently using holo launcher and as you can see it has the icons replaced so the rom seems to have the screen flickering issues as you can see on each rotation you have uh, this green screen appearing and another issue that i just noticed is i cannot turn on my wi-fi for some reason it just never turns on doesn't matter where I press I just won't turn on the Wi-Fi and in the settings here as you can see you basically have the same old Cyanogen mode settings in about phone we just see a logo here new experience but yeah as you can see it has the KitKat style I mean the icons are white the status bar icons this is the notification screen and you also have a shortcut to settings here which is cool and useful mobile networks let's see okay this is accessible but wi-fi doesn't seem to work let's take a look at the wallpapers integrated so these are the wallpapers as you can see quite a lot of wallpapers here here is what the dialer looks like let's take a look at the contacts as you can see everything has this black and white view take a look at the browser pretty much the same looking yeah you've also got here as you can see some tools if you know you're doing this could come of great use also has beats manager the music player basically the same black and white style Let's take a look at the camera. Doesn't seem to function well. Nope, we get a green screen and false closing message.
so that's pretty much it for now i can't really show you anything else as you can see it has some problems obviously because it is cyanogen mode and we do have problems running cyanogen mode stable so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already do so and once again everyone thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye